If you are a proud owner of a Talbot Express like me, eventually you're going to find out that with age, the dry shaft kinky rubber boots will crack. And this is an MOT failure. And without special tools, you can't really change them yourself. It's really got to go to a garage. And the problem with when it goes to a garage, the suspension has to be dismantled. And it's quite a bit of expense to have it done. I found a way that you can do it yourself. Now this is what a, one of these boots, kinky boots, looks like. And they have a metal strap round them here. And they have one round there. And the drive shaft goes through and into the wheel hub like that. So this end will go towards your gearbox, this end towards the gearbox, and this end goes that. That's all very well, but to get this on, there's a special tool which expands it to get it over the main drive shaft coupling. But you can get away with what buying what's called a split boot. And I'll put a photograph of that up next. And they have a split down them. And physically, you cut the old boot off, you put it round the shaft, and you glue it together based on the instructions. So you don't have to dismantle the suspension. But one of the big, big issues with this is how on earth do you get this clamp on here? Whether it's a split boot or a normal boot. And the clamps look like this. And you need a special tool. So this is a small one, but obviously the one that goes on here is a bigger one. And you need a special tool. And what you do, you wrap it round so that these teeth grip in these holes. And then using this special tool, which looks a bit like this, it goes on there and it squeezes that in to tension it. Right, this is where the problem comes in. If you imagine that is round there like that. But on the Talbot Express, this actually sits inside of there. So you have to dismantle the hub assembly and the suspension to get this clip on because it's inside in that gap there and you can't get the normal tools in to tighten the clamps so how do you do it well i've come up with a method of fitting the clamps without dismantling all the suspension and things like that but first of all you've got to get yourself a split boot and follow the instructions and mount that you then have to buy, not these sort of clamps, this sort of clamp. And um, you can buy these quite cheaply. And with these, they don't need a special tool to use. And what you do is you you pull this this one here, this end, and when it's taut round there, you then just squeeze, you bend it over this way like an envelope, and then you close these up with a pair of pliers. You don't need special tools. But you might say, well, how do you do that when it's in there? And uh, I'll show you. And it's very, very simple. And I discovered this when opening a tin of fish. Now, what you need to do is get hold of some cotter pins, preferably a big one like this. 
that's the first thing you need and it becomes a key like opening a tin of fish okay so what you do you thread it through like a key would be on opening a tin of fish but in this case you're tightening it up okay so you've got it on like that and uh, I'll try and demonstrate this as best I can. I'm just going to put the camera down again. So you have it round the boot, the kinky boot, like that. It's then inserted in, in there. This is when you're underneath the van. And then physically what you do, you then with a screwdriver or your pliers you twist this till it tightens and then you bend it over back on itself so it's between those two lips there you then get a screwdriver and you poke it in the gap so that these lugs you can bend back because this becomes that side and then you just cut off the excess now because it's a very very small gap it's fiddly but it does work so you can imagine you've got to get down that gap there and then you just pull the pin out and that's it done now for this end of the rubber, you can just use a nylon tie wrap. You know, or you could put a, a different sort of clamp around it if you want. But this is the problem is with the Toppet Express, the gaiter or the kinky boot is inside here sort of thing. And this would be like the wheel bearing and the rest of it and the hub and the brakes. But that's one way of getting it out and um, getting it back in and things like that. Because you can imagine with one of these round there, that sticks up like that. And that's it about it for this video. I hope this was useful to somebody. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up would be appreciated and uh, hope you enjoy this little fix of mine it's still very fiddly to do but it is possible to do it without dismantling all the suspension and everything else